hello friends welcome to my new video so today i am going to discuss with you all about conjunctivitis so conjunctivitis is a common eye disease that we mostly see in our daily opd so we should be aware about the signs and symptoms of different types of conjunctivitis and their diagnostics and management protocol so here i showed you about the parts of conjunctivitis where you can see this is the bulbar conjunctiva and this is the palpebral conjunctiva and in between this is the fornix area right bulbar conjunctiva is covering the sclera palpebral conjunctiva is covering the inner surface of the eyelid right so conjunctivitis introduction so conjunctivitis is the inflammation of the conjunctiva so conjunctiva is the transparent mucous membrane which is covering the inner surface of the eye lid as well as white portion of the eye that is known as uh, sclera so during conjunctivitis the conjunctiva turn congested and hyperemic so this conjunctivitis may or may not be associated with discharge with pain and photophobia so this condition is also known as pink eye okay so there is two types of conjunctivitis infectious and non infectious so what is infectious from the name we can understand that infectious means due to any infection by microorganism so microorganism are bacteria virus or chlamydial infection okay let's start with bacterial conjunctivitis so bacterial conjunctivitis means if conjunctivitis conjunctivitis is due to bacterial infection it is bacterial conjunctivitis right so what are the predisposing factors for this bacterial conjunctivitis here first of all if someone is having poor hygiene they are living in a slum area or maintaining a poor hygiene then their immunity is also getting uh, weak so those people are more prone to have infection by microorganism right if someone is uh, maintaining poor contact lens hygiene that means uh, he or she is not maintaining the uh, contact lens do and don'ts as well as he is not cleaning the contact lens solution timely so they are more prone to have uh, bacterial infection in their eye okay now blepharitis if someone is having blepharitis like mostly uh, ulcerative blepharitis one where uh, it is due to staphylococcus aureus so staphylococcus aureus is also uh, the my, uh, causative mar microorganism for bacterial conjunctivitis so they are more prone to have uh, conjunctivitis or if someone is having foreign body injury to their eye then it is leading to conjunctival epithelial disruption so this thing can also lead to bacterial infection to their eye okay so during the physical examination the patient will give uh, symptoms of unilateral by bilateral redness discharge with stickiness of the eyelashes in the morning and irritation with burning sensation reduced vision and intolerance to the contact lenses right so here signs mm, you will observe that the patient will have discharge no history of itching no history of con uh, contact lenses matted eyelashes and chemiasis okay so recently some articles were published where which is telling that uh, bacterial conjunctivitis it doesn't mean the patient will have uh discharge there there is no that much rule that ha huh, bacterial conjunctivitis uh have discharge and that's their rule no there is many bacterial conjunctivitis seen in our clinic which are actually bacterial conjunctivitis but they are not having any discharge but patient will give some specific complaint like he is having matted eyelashes uh, uh in the morning he will he is not having history of itching or he is not having history of past conjunctivitis and his uh, patient will say in uh, chemosis so this thing are indicating that the patient is having bacterial conjunctivitis mostly you will observe that the patient eyelashes will be matted eyelashes but there is not that much discharge is there okay so don't forget to ask about the history of itching and history of past conjunctivitis also okay now these are the causative organism uh for bacterial conjunctivitis here this is the staphylococcus aureus and uh, uh this is the streptococcus pneumoniae and this is the hemophilus influenzae so these are the causative organism that are responsible for con conjunctivitis in the eye right so here classification based on type of disease codes here hyperacute if the infection uh is less than one week mm, the infection happen within uh, one week or less than one week it is hyper acute if the infection happen in between 3 to 4 week it is acute and if the infection persist more than 4 week it is chronic okay so what is mucopurulent conjunctivitis so conjunctivitis are mostly two types right so first of all mucopurulent and purulent conjunctivitis are there so we will first of all discuss about mucopurulent conjunctivitis then we will go to purulent conjunctivitis okay 
so this mucoporin conjunctivitis here the causative organism is as i discussed earlier in the slides that staphylococcus aureus and streptococcus pneumoniae okay so this is the staphylococcus aureus and this is streptococcus pneumoniae so staphylococcus aureus is a gram negative bacteria which is frequently found in respiratory tract of the body and it mainly causes respiratory tract infection skin infection food poisoning and all, uh, also it can lead to infection in eyes if there is any epithelial disruption is present as uh, normally it cannot invade the epithelium tight junction right and if i tell you about the streptococcus pneumoniae so it is a gram positive bacteria usually found in pears but not uh, found in spores like so it mainly cause pneumonia in people so this type of bacteria is most commonly found in respiratory tract and also in the nasal cavity so this is the mucoporulin conjunctivitis where you will find that the patient is, will have discharge congestion metadilysis and patient will also have photophobia but there will not be any history of past conjunctivitis as well as no history of itching that is mucoporulin conjunctivitis okay so this mucoporulin conjunctivitis will have symptoms like as i told you foreign body sensation will also be there and here in the uh, signs you will see eyelid edema and conjunctival congestion okay and matted uh, matted eyelashes okay so this mucoporulin conjunctivitis can uh, lead to corneal involvement leading to corneal ulcer so uh, also mucoporulin conjunctivitis can lead to chronic dacryocystitis okay so what is dacryocystitis means it is the infection of the lacrimal sac right so treatment here in the treatment for mucoporulin conjunctivitis you will do frequent eye wash with lubricating eye drop or normal saline you can give to the patient you need to advise the patient to use dark glasses to reduce photophobia you need to give the patient broad spectrum antibiotics uh, to the patient and you, do, you need to advise the patient to maintain the proper hygiene as well as keep the personal belonging of the patient uh, separately from others okay now let's discuss about uh, purulent conjunctivitis so it is a severe form of mucoporulent conjunctivitis here the purulent conjunctivitis is due to neisseria gonorrhea so this neisseria gonorrhea uh, also known as gonococcus it is a uh, gram negative diplococcus bacteria which uh, cause um, sexually transmitted disease okay so it mainly cause infection to the genital area throat and eye so if it is left untreated then it can uh, infect Uh, other part of the body also and leading to arthritis and all those things right so here this is the purulent conjunctivitis where you can see if you compare the previous mucoporulent conjunctivitis picture with the purulent conjunctivitis one it is having more severe discharge formation with chemosis uh, of the conjunctiva which is there okay so this is uh, purulent conjunctivitis so this purulent conjunctivitis is also having two types one is purulent conjunctivitis in adult and also it is seen in a uh, child child or newborn babies where it is known as ophthalmia neonatrum okay so uh, this purulent conjunctivitis is an acute infection or a, 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 a infectious infl inflammation of the conjunctiva which is having uh, incubation period of 3 days so males are more commonly affected than female uh, where it is also seen that uh, right eye is mostly affected than the left eye So here in the clinical sign you will see uh, severe lid swelling, purulent discharge from the eye, conjunctival congestion, and rise of the body temperature. Fever will also be there. So uh, this type of purulent conjunctivitis can also lead to corneal involvement, and so it can cause corneal ulceration and reduction of the vision can also be there. So that's why for the management purpose we need to give the patient frequent irrigation with saline solution. We need to give the patient systemic antibiotic. and also tetracycline eye ointment can be given to the patient right in case of purulent conjunctivitis now let's move to ophthalmia neonatrum so as i told you in my uh, in the purulent conjunctivitis starting i told you that it is two type adult and for newborn so newborn if mother is having uh, sexually transmitted disease uh, like syphilis and all those things in the heart genital area which is due to neisseria gonorrhea uh, so during the uh, birth uh, during the birth time the child may uh, are having more chances of having this type of uh, neisseria gonorrhea infection to their eye leading to ophthalmia neonatrum where the causative organism as i told you that it is neisseria gonorrhea and uh, also this condition can be due to chlamydial infection where the mother is infected and this condition can get transferred to child during vaginal delivery 
and this condition also causes corneal involvement and ulceration leading to risk of corneal perforation also there so that's why clinical sign you will see hyperacute purulent conjunctivitis is there okay so the uh, in a uh, these are the causative organism uh, where you can see chlamydia, trachomatis, and nisaria gonorrhea are the uh, what to say causative organism. So this is the nisaria gonorrhea and this is chlamydia trachomatis. Okay, so this microorganism get transmitted during the time of delivery. So during the workup of such patient, the clinician should take the history of maternal infection. Okay, so uh, like gonococcal infection if i tell you about the gonococcal infection the main clinical sign of gonococcal conjunctivitis onset is in between 5 to 2 days and it is represented with thick purulent discharge conjunctival congestion and eyelid edema and if i tell you about the uh, chlamydial infection then here the onset time is 5 to 14 days and clinical signs are copious discharge with lead swelling so sample from the discharge should be sent to the laboratory investigation for the proper diagnosis and microorganism for the better management of this condition. So for Nisaria gonori, gram stain and culture and tire maintain media and chocolate agar can detect chlamydia also if it is due to chlamydial infection. Okay, and management for the management purpose, the gonococcal infection is the first. Uh, so gonococcal infection first line treatment is oral antibiotic with continuous eye irrigation. And for chlamydial infection, topical azithromycin is the first line treatment for this condition. Okay, so let's move to. Uh, so let's move to viral conjunctivitis, where from the name we can understand it is due to viral infection to the cornea so the clinical features are redness congestion watering and photophobia of the eye right so the causative organism it is due to adenovirus so adenovirus are medium sized 90 to 100 nanometer without having a uh, nanometer in diameter without having any lipid envelope virus um, containing double stranded dna genome in it okay so here this is the clinical presentation where the symptoms are the like patient will give you history of foreign body sensation uh, uh eye, red eye burning sensation water discharge edematous eyelid eyelid and light sensitivity or photophobia and in the signs you will see conjunctival congestion follicles watery discharge and presence of membrane or pseudo membrane on the utc you will observe all these things to this viral infection okay or viral conjunctivitis so for the management purpose, uh, you can give the patient artificial tear, antihistamine, cold compression, self-resolving within uh, three weeks. So that's why mostly you will give you the quick question to me that uh, what to say in case of viral conjunctivitis, why we are giving antihistamines and, uh, and uh, all those things, why we are not giving antiviral. So in many um, researches, it is seen that uh, giving the uh, and, uh, viral conjunctivitis patient antiviral medication is not that much effective so that's why we need to uh, reduce the patient symptom because it is all uh, automatically self-resolving so it will get resolved within two weeks so that's why just the main purpose of giving artificial tear antihistamine and cold compress to re uh, reduce the symptom uh, of the patient right so if i tell you about the allergic conjunctivitis so allergic conjunctivitis are these are the uh, types of allergic conjunctivitis here simple allergic conjunctivitis vernal uh, keratoconjunctivitis atopic keratoconjunctivitis and giant pupillary conjunctivitis okay so here the simple allergic conjunctivitis so this is the simple allergic conjunctivitis um, so it is an immunoglobulin mediated hypersensitivity reaction of the body where it is due to direct contact with the allergic substance like pollen spores or any foreign body so in symptoms you will see itching swelling watery discharge uh, sorry water watering from the eye that is called as epiphora or patient will also have photophobia so in the management purpose we you can give the patient artificial tears antihistamine and advise the patient to do regular cold compress to the eye right and if I tell you about the uh, vernal keratoconjunctivitis, so so viral ker ker vernal keratoconjunctivitis is a bilateral recurrent allergic conjunctivitis in children that is caused by external allergic material. So this condition is mostly seen in boys than in girls. So that's why males are more effective. Um, that means male, males are more having this uh, condition than 
females. Symptoms here, the patient will have severe itching, ropey distress and photophobia. So, uh, in the sign, uh, you will observe that the patient will have cobblestone appearance of the papillary hypertrophy by the formation of giant papillae as well as multiple nodular um, uh, uh, multiple nodular white uh, dot around the limbus area that is called as honor tantas dots. So, in the management purpose, you can give the patient cold compressed topical steroid and topical antihistamine. So, uh, this is the giant papillary conjunctivitis. So, here giant papillary conjunctivitis is actually due to uh, soft contact lens using complication. So, that is why uh, for the um, uh, symptoms are similar as the uh, uh, previous vernal uh, keratoconjunctivitis here the patient will have uh, watering and uh, uh, itching, swelling uh, all those things. Uh, so, uh, for the management purpose, you can uh, advise the patient to discontinue the contact lenses and uh, also you can give the patient antihistamines and artificial tear to resolve the symptoms. So, thank you so much for kind listening.